bronze head of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah's original statue, which stood in front of the old Parliament House in Accra, was vandalized during the February 24, 1966 military and police coup d'etat. This was discovered and presented by a patriotic citizen to the Information Services Department, in which in turn released it to the park on May 28, 2009, and it was mounted in the park on September 1st, 2009. Images of the original statue that were vandalized. So I'm actually inside of the mausoleum right now where Dr. Nkrumah was buried. He died in 1972 and since then the people of Ghana have really, really honored this man for what he's done for this country and the way that he helped to lead the people to change. And I just hope that one day there will be a leader just like him in this country or creative leaders or a group of people who come together and want the same changes for this country. And I know that Ghana has been listed as one of the fastest growing economies in the world, but at the same time, there are a lot of things that aren't changing quick enough. At the pace that things are changing, there are some things that are falling behind, and then you have this rift of conflict between the two things that are trying to work together in balance, and it causes frustration for some people. So I only hope that one day there will be a leader like Kwame Nkrumah who can you know, come and encourage the people and teach the people about some of the things that they need to do to move forward for more change in this country. Um, I've never actually come inside the mausoleum itself. I've come to the grounds and gone outside and, and seen the statue of Kwame Nkrumah as well as the other ones that are the water fountains of the men holding, you know, the instruments and the waters flowing out. Very beautiful. I've been out here before and came to the museum, but I haven't actually walked inside the mausoleum where I'm standing right now, where uh, Dr. Nkrumah is actually buried. So I'm about to go inside of the museum, but there's a sign on the door that says no cameras or cell phones are allowed in the museum. So obviously, I'm not allowed to take any pictures, nor am I allowed to take any video. So I will go in there and try to document as much as I can and uh, share it with you. Um, yeah, so we'll see. I'm going in. All right. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to take photos in there, like I said before I walked in. Um, but I can share with you that inside the museum, there are several pictures of Dr. Kwame Nkrumah with his family members, there's photos of him with people um, who were notable in history, people like John F. Kennedy, Heli Selassie, uh, there's a photo in there with um, the uh, um, Cassius Clay, now known as Muhammad Ali, there's a photo of him in there as well, uh, admiring uh, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, a statue of him, and um, there's a little bit of history in there, just some little artifacts of things he used, things like his bed when he was a student, uh, his desk while he was the leader of the country, um, and then the coffin that he was originally buried in uh, is there also. He was buried in that coffin in his hometown for 20 years before he was brought back, uh, sorry, brought, not back, but brought to Accra and was buried here at the mausoleum uh, as a permanent uh, home to house his body for the people of Ghana to have a place that they can come and visit as well as people around the world can come and visit and learn about Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and what he did for this country. Um, so it is owned by the state as it was explained to me by the woman inside and that is why they do not allow people to take photographs in there but she did say that there's another museum, the National Museum, where uh, people can go and actually take photographs and there will be some more things uh, with respect to Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and other things about Ghana there as well. But um, I'm glad to have shared my experience with you today at the museum as well as the mausoleum and around the grounds here and hopefully I was able to shed some light for you and maybe one day you will be able to come and make the journey yourself to Ghana and experience it for yourself. Thanks for listening to me today.